Hello, <laughs> welcome to Toronto Bible Study. I'm your host, Mike Sampat, and today we're going to look at this video by Saint AVS. He's exposed me <laughs> as a false teacher and stuff. Like, okay, so we're gonna take a look at this. I mean, honestly, just like in the last video he made about me, he just takes me out of context. He won't play the full audio that he they they that he just cut it up. Anyway, let's listen to it. Okay. I don't know if it's better to do like this. All right, let's try this. All right. <laughs> look, 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 look at my face. Look at my face that they put in. That's so bad. Anyway. No, 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 no. See, I smoke weed sometimes. I guess that's a drug. And I also, I was smoking cigarettes. And I sometimes drink, you know? Wow. It has wow. to be the truth. So they take, they take me admitting my, my sin, just admitting to you guys my sins. I'm not perfect and everything. They take that and they use it against me. Take it out of context and use it against me. As if I'm saying, oh, everybody should just drink. I'm not saying that. I'm not even trying to say that. But once again, they always have to take me out of context. They can never just play me through. They can't. Because if they do that, then their whole argument falls apart. The true Christ. It can't be a Christ that wasn't crucified. Well, that's the, that's debatable. So I take drugs in that sense. See, wait, 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 wait. Well, true Christ. Smoking cigarettes. And I sometimes drink, you know? Has to be the true Christ. It can't be a Christ that wasn't crucified. Well, that's the that's debatable. So I take drugs. See, so so now this is now what I was saying. That's like the cross is gospel thing, right? A Christ who wasn't crucified. Well, people who believed in Christ before he was crucified were saved, right? But the only question is now, after the crucifixion, can somebody believe that Jesus is the Christ without believing in the crucifixion? Well, I think they can't. So uh, that's my position. It's called the cross's gospel position. Unfortunately, that's a that's a name they brought up to to demonize us. But whatever. Drugs in that sense. If they believe that they were that they're saved simply by believing in him. Yeah, but the yeah. him is the so that's the Christ that wasn't. Sometimes drink, you know. It has to be the true Christ. It can't be a Christ that wasn't crucified. Well, that's uh, that's debatable. So I take drugs in that sense. If they believe that. They see, so see how they cut it up. Why don't they just play me through? I don't know. Is that right after that 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 he's that he's? Any, I don't remember this conversation, right? But like, he was he was recording me in a private conversation. All right, he didn't say that he was going to record me. He just snaked to me and said that he actually asked me to not record him. Like he told Fuego to tell me, please, Mike. Don't record him. But meanwhile, he was recording me because he's a snake. That they were that they're saved simply by believing in him. Yeah. But the yeah. him is the Archangel Michael. Yeah. You believe they can still be saved. Yes. Make sure you watch this video. See, yes. Yes. See, they just cut that. That's obviously cut, right? Like, I don't know. Simply by believing in him. Yeah. But the yeah. him is the Archangel Michael. Yeah. You believe they can still be saved. Yes. Make sure. So now, now I don't know, like maybe he, like whatever. The point is that the whole conversation, you would understand. What I'm trying to say is that a person like a JW or somebody who believes some wrong thing about Jesus, as long as they believe that he is the son of God, the Christ, that is the one, the savior of the world that was predicted in the prophets. If they believe that Christ is that person, the son of God that gives eternal life to whoever believes in him, then they, then they're saved, you know? And then whatever other wrong things they might have in their head about Jesus, that's okay. As long as they understand he's the son of God that gives eternal life to whoever believes in him. Make sure you watch this video to the very end, even if you're not into these type of videos, but you are a Christian, because what you're about to witness is a very deep form of deception being exposed. <laughs> this is so, heresy this is, so, that is not so only hilarious. satanic. The way he just like has my head like, Coming up here, it's so bad. But this is just the manipulation, you know. Like they won't just play the tape. Just go, hey, listen to what he, listen to what Mike said, and then play the conversation. They won't do that. 
because they know even he's going to get implicated in some wrong things in that conversation because he's he's going to show that he doesn't understand things you know but so they just play they play clips from it panic but deceives people into having hope and faith in a false christ that christ himself warned us about he told us to mark and avoid these type of people who preach these type of false teachings and heresies. Yet we, the true body of Christ, are continually falsely accused, lied about, and mislabeled by these heretics and their community. No, notice they can't, he can't show you where I lied about it. He can't show you that. You know, if he shows you that, then I'll just show you that I wasn't lying, right? So that's all the thing. And he lied about me in his video about me, but my video about him shows that. Anyway, it's just so, it's so much like, the problem is like they know that his hundred thousand followers, ninety nine percent of them are never gonna even care about me. They're just not gonna click on the video. They're just never gonna look into me at all because they believe him, right? So they know that they're just playing the numbers game. Communities. So today I'll be exposing Mike Sampa. No, 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 no. Without any further ado, here's a conversation I had with him, and then we'll dive into the theology that will help you understand how wicked this man's doctrine really is. Most people who are uneducated, they would think that. They would think the son of God is like Hercules or something. They might. They might. But I wouldn't say that even if they did, that wouldn't be a problem. So they even if they believe... Yeah. So even if yeah, they believe yeah. it's the son of yeah, God, like, like, a, like, a, like a fake... Yeah, like like, a, I mean, it's technically not yeah, in a yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely no son of God, but then... So, yeah, son of God might be understood differently. Some people might think son of God is a man. Exactly, or they might Something think it's like a, another right? god, or they might think it's like another god, like the Jehovah's Witnesses do, right? So no, wait, 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 wait. Do Jehovah's Witnesses think it's another god? I don't know, but anyway. Um. So anyway, the point is, what I'm trying to say is that if a person thinks that Jesus is just a man, they don't think he's literally God. They can still be saved. They don't have to believe that he's literally God. You know. It's kind of confusing. Do you think the Jehovah's Witnesses are, are saved if they believe that Jesus Christ is an archangel and they believe that that's what the Son of God means? If they did believe that they could be saved by just believing in him, but that him is an archangel Michael, but they believe that that is the Son of God and they believe that that is the Christ, but it's the archangel Michael, can they still be saved from that? If they believe that, they were, that they're saved simply by believing in him. Yeah. But the him is the archangel Michael. Yeah. You believe they can still be saved. Yes. Yes. See, so right there, I think I think they cut me. I think they cut it. I don't think they just played it. Because look, listen how it sounds there. Listen how it sounds. We're believing in him. Yeah. But the yeah. him is the Archangel Michael. Yeah. You believe they can still be saved? Yes. yes. So you, okay. chat, chat, tell me, tell me, do you, does that sound like he just played it through or does it sound like he cut me? Uh, yeah, I know. I am just believing in him. Yeah. But the him is the Archangel Michael. Yeah. You believe they can still be saved? Yes. yes. See, he doesn't. See, I'm telling you, man. I don't think I just said it yes simply like that. Because I don't believe that. You know, I don't believe that they could believe that Jesus is the Archangel Michael. You know, I believe that they have to believe that Jesus is the Son of God, the Christ. And then he gives eternal life to whoever believes in him. Now, maybe maybe somebody might think that Jesus is also the like the Archangel Angel Michael. Like when when the Archangel Michael appears in the Bible, it's really Jesus. Maybe that's, that's what they think. That's just the wrong theological belief that they have. As long as they understand that Jesus is the Son of God, the Christ that should come into the world, that gives eternal life to whoever believes in him, then they'll be saved. Because he's okay. the son of God, right? He is the son of God. He is the Christ, right? In their minds. But in their mind, they have a yes. fake fake son of God and a fake Christ. So you're, you're saying if there's like an ignorant Jehovah's Witness, but they just believe they have to believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ and they shall be saved. But that Jesus is the Archangel Michael, they're still saved. Even though that's what they believe the son of God to mean, being the Archangel Michael. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Wow. Okay. How... No, like once again, so they understand, they think that Jesus is the son of God, the Christ that should come into the world and gives eternal life to whoever believes in him. But they also mistakenly think that the Archangel Michael, when he appears in the Bible or whatever, that that's, G 
Jesus in that form or something, you know? You know how some people think like Jesus, like the the angel of the Lord is Jesus and stuff. That's that's not uh, that's not relevant to salvation, you know. But anyway, how can he be the Son of God if he didn't die for the sins of the world? It has to be the true Christ. It can't be a Christ that wasn't crucified. Well, that's uh, that's debatable. What and, substances are you on? The world it has to be the true Christ. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Well, okay. How how can he be the Son of God if he didn't die for the sins of the world? It has to be the true Christ. It can't be a Christ that wasn't crucified. Well, that's uh, that's debatable. I think I think they cut that up too. That's not that's not. I don't think I just said that like that. They have to believe in the true Christ, yeah. But they might not understand that he got crucified. They might not understand all of that. They might not get all that. But they have to believe that he's the Christ, the Son of God, that Jesus is the Christ, right? The Jesus of the New Testament. They have to believe that he is the Christ, the Son of God, and he gives eternal life to whoever believes in him. And then if they have other mistaken beliefs about him, then that's okay. What substances are you on? See, I smoke weed sometimes. I guess that's a drug. And I also, I was smoking cigarettes. I recently. See, the music and everything is so manipulative, man. Wait. And I sometimes drink, you know? So I take drugs in that sense. Bro. Shut up, idiots. You're so, okay. So what I admitted to there is I used to smoke cigarettes. I sometimes smoke weed and I sometimes drink. I don't drink very much. I haven't had a drink in a long time. I think last time was Christmas time. Okay, and I'll probably have another one. My birthday was a few days ago, so probably one of my friends is gonna because he was sick on that day, so he's probably we're probably gonna get together and have a few drinks. But that's how I have that's how I have drinks. I don't drink. And uh yeah, I smoke weed sometimes. Like I might smoke weed with my friend that day, uh, whenever we celebrate my birthday, but I'm not like a smoker, and also and I and I like whatever, man. This is just like I'm not like some uh, addict or something, you know. You're a shield, bro. You're, you're a shield, bro. This is, this is so bad. This is so bad. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb for going on this thing. I'm so dumb. Uh, dogging you for smoking some pot really show their true character. Totally irrelevant to correcting supposed error and only serve to reinforce their own. Yeah, I know. I know. They're total clowns. Anyway, no. sorry. I shouldn't call them clowns. I'm sorry. I was supposed to stop the name calling, right? So we're not going to call them clowns. We're just going to say, I mean, the, the truth is, they are our brothers, you know? So the fact that they're this confused and and weak-minded and just uh, and deceptive is just sad. And it's sad that they're going to be judged for this, you know? Girl, you are a little bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You are a little bitch. Blessings, my beloved family in Christ, AVS here, and today we're going to be diving into a critical issue. We'll be exposing Mike Sampa and his dangerous teachings. But don't worry thanks, if you're thanks. not a fan of it. Thanks, YouTube Watcher 69. They're fruit watchers, I know. Exposed videos. This is going to be a theological here, and today we're. Hey, you are a little bitch. Blessings, my <laughs> beloved family in Christ. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb for saying that. I'm, I apologize to all my listeners for ever saying that. I'm very sorry. Christ AVS here, and today we're going to be diving into a critical issue. We'll be exposing Mike Sampa and his dangerous teachings. But don't worry, if you're not a fan of exposed videos, this is going to be a theological destruction of his heresies as well, and very educational. This is one of the most satanic and blasphemous things that I've come across online from somebody who claims to be in the body of Christ. He has one of the most hateful and claims claims to be in the body of Christ. Claims, claims. Wow. Wow. Toxic communities online in the Christian community, people who sow discord, hateful goats who deny people's testimonies, blasphemous heretics who speak hateful against goats, hateful goats, so that we're just unsaved again. Goats are unsaved and deny the name of the Most High, Yahuwah, whilst claiming to believe in him. And that's just scratch. The name of the Most High, Yahuwah. <clears throat> Is that his name? How do you know? Is that how you pronounce that name? You don't know that. You're just saying that the surface. The level of racism that takes place in his discord is a reflection of the type of community that he has built based on Look, there's no racism in my discord, okay? I mean, we uh, we I mean, look, I don't know if people are racist, that personally they feel racist, that's not I don't remove people for having feelings of racism, 
or for or for even expressing but like i won't allow any kind of like racist language like no racial slurs and stuff and don't just like attack people for their race you know <clears throat> on his sowing of discord strife and completely unbiblical behavior especially for somebody that age now let's dive into the biblical arguments destroying his theological position and proving that he is not only a heretic but his theology and gospel could literally lead souls to hell now remember he said that somebody could believe in hercules and still be saved no, I, I never said that. I never said that. Like I say, man, they're not playing you the full thing. I, I hope you guys know. You guys know. My viewers know that I would never say that. Or, you know, like, you're just taking me out of context, man. Because he's trying to get me. He's trying, like, he's recording me, right? He knows this, right? So he's he's asking me questions like that. What about a JW? What? Because he's trying, to, he's trying to get me on the crossless gospel thing to say something that they can kind of, like, use against me, right? I never said anything wrong so that's why he had to cut up the conversation avs if you're a real man if you're a real christian who's honest then play the whole conversation we had otherwise you're just being deceptive it's obvious you're being deceptive you're just trying to trick people don't let that go over your head and for the record he wasn't just saying that someone can believe on the true christ and then get deceived at a later point and still be saved he was literally saying that somebody can believe primarily on hercules and be saved by that belief in Hercules. No, no. Well, what if somebody thought like Jesus, the 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 person in the New Testament who was um, the Son of God, the Christ, the Son of God, right? Not Zeus, the Son of God, like the whole God of the whole universe. Zeus is just like a Zeus is not a God of the whole universe, right? He wasn't. He's created being. And he he's not he's like he's got limitations like there's things in nature that are more powerful than him and stuff you know but God is not like that our God is not like that our God is the God of the whole universe he created everything including like whatever demon is pretending to be Zeus he created that thing too so that's what they have to understand that he's the God of everything the God the creator of everything and that Jesus Christ is his son. As long as in their mind, they think that that is the real Jesus. Now, if you have any form of discernment, you know that that is not only blasphemy, but that is satanic. In other words, they could believe on Satan as long as they believe it's Jesus and still be saved by that logic. Now, let's dive into the theology. So here's the biblical proof that that is not only a lie, but leads people to hell. John 14, 6, Jesus explicitly states that he is the only way to the Father. So he is stating very clearly that believing in any other entity other than the entity who is speaking right there, right then, the Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who died, his blood was shed and rose on the third day, that Jesus who is speaking, believing in any other entity or interpretation of that Christ is excluded. It must be him. John 14. That's true. That's true. That's true. It must be this man. It must be the Jesus of the New Testament. They must believe he is the son of God, the Christ that gives eternal life to whoever believes in it. But they, if they have other mistaken beliefs about him, that's okay. Once they believe those proper things about him, then they'll, leave, they'll have eternal life. <clears throat> Zeus is another name for Satan. Yeah, Zeus is, Zeus is probably like basically Satan. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they say uh, in the Bible it says the seed of Satan is like in Pergamon, right? And in Pergamon, there is this like... Um, temple of zeus okay that's why they say that the seats of satan anyway teen six reads jesus saith mm -hmm. unto him i am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the father but by me that's not hercules speaking that's not the archangel yeah i'm not saying that they can believe in hercules that's so dumb like look avs if you're trying to say that i said that then play the whole tape Otherwise, you're just slandering me because I would never say that. <clears throat> they have to believe that Jesus is the Christ. Jesus of the New Testament is the Christ. Now, like I say, if they have other wrong beliefs about Jesus, that's that's not necessarily going to prevent their salvation. But they have to believe that the Jesus of the New Testament is the Son of God, the Christ, and he gives eternal life to whoever believes in him. Angel Michael speaking. That is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yahushua Hamashiach. 
and you are saved by yeah yeah i know where satan's seat is yeah that's right um i think it's now is it in germany or is it in um switzerland i'm not sure about that one anyway grace through faith in him not in hercules not in the archangel michael it must be him and if he wants to make the ridiculous argument that it's just faith in any entity that they think is Jesus, then they... No, no, no. That's foolishness. It's not any entity they think is Jesus. They have to think that the Jesus of the New Testament is the Son of God, the Christ, who gives eternal life to whoever believes in him. Then, if they have other false beliefs about him, like if they think that he's also the Archangel Michael, like, like when the Archangel Michael appears in the Bible, that was really Jesus. If they have that wrong belief... That's not going to prevent them from being saved. I'm sorry. And they are claiming to be saved by their own faith in whatever they are thinking about. In other words, idolatry. Point number two. Yeah, it was moved. It was moved. You're correct. I think it is in Berlin now, but I think it was in, there's another one. I don't know, man. It's kind of, it's kind of weird. That story, like Pergamon, that actual temple, Hitler did move it. I, I think you're right about that. And I think it's in Berlin. But there's there's this other one in in um, Switzerland that people talk about. I don't know. I don't know exactly what the story is, but we'll find out. The true identity of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the Son of God, the Word who became flesh. Any belief that does not recognize that Jesus is the Word who became flesh, God incarnate, is a belief in a false Christ. So so okay, that's true. If you don't believe that Jesus is god incarnate you believe in a false christ you believe in a um you have a heretical belief about jesus okay however that just makes you a heretic that doesn't mean you're unsaved it doesn't mean you can't be saved having that wrong belief as long as you do believe that jesus is the christ that jesus from the new testament that one he, he is the Christ, the Son of God, <clears throat> who was predicted in the prophets, who comes to save the world, and who will save you if you believe in him, give you eternal life. If you believe that, then you have eternal life. Uh, sorry. Because a Christ that is not divine cannot save. John 1.1 1, 1 and John 1.14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. It must be this Jesus Christ who we believe in to be saved. Now, I'm not claiming that somebody must have a deep understanding, but they cannot have an idol in their mind and think they are saved by that idol just because. Yeah, that's true. Of course, we know that. They have to believe in the Jesus of the New Testament. They have to believe that he is the Christ. And I, look, I have videos explaining. I mean, th I think if you go onto my channel, the first thing you'll see is the video explaining what we must believe to be saved. And it's quite clear that it's not anything, anything, anyone else other than Jesus Christ. Yeah. So. Because they think that is Jesus Christ. Now, there are many people who are tares and goats and wolves. And because they don't like me, because I stand on. Tares and goats and wolves. So, what is. I mean, he's saying many people. He's talking about me, right? He's saying I'm a tear and a goat and a wolf. So he's saying I'm an unsaved devil. And uh, yeah, I know all the all the Masonic esoteric stuff. I think it's very it's unnecessary for Christians to delve into it too much. But I think Christians should be aware that the politics and the news that we see is kind of fake, but I don't know. Like if you don't, if you don't, if you're not, if you don't know or care about that, I don't think it affects you that much. From what I believe in, I stand on the truth. They attack me. And instead of believing in the truth, I'm putting their pride aside. How can and you their enemy if you don't know how the web is used? Yeah, that's true. That's true too. They're, that's the thing. So I do, I do agree that, yeah, Christians should be aware. But many Christians are heavily, highly opposed to conspiracy theories and stuff. So, Obviously, it's not a salvational issue or even an issue of um, doctrine or anything. But I think it is good to to be aware of them, though. But not to. But the thing is, it's it's a trap too, right? Like people will get they'll go they'll go too far down the rabbit hole and get all unbalanced. I, I, that's happened to me before too. 
friendships aside, they would rather side with people they like rather than the truth. And we know what those people are. Here is the testimony of the apostles. John asserts that Jesus Christ is the true God and eternal life. Believing in a Christ who is not the true God means not having eternal life. If this is what they have. So he's saying that based on 1 John 5, 9, that if you don't believe that Jesus is God, I guess, I guess what he's saying, it sounds like what he's saying is that if you don't believe Jesus is God, you're, you're unsaved. You can't be saved. Let's just make sure what he's saying. Here. Rather than the truth. And we know what those people are. Here is the testimony of the apostles. John asserts that Jesus Christ is the true God and eternal life. Believing in a Christ who is not the true God means not having eternal life. If this is so, so is he is, I mean, it sounds like he's, I don't know, you guys tell me, it sounds like he's implying here that if you don't believe Jesus is God, you can't be saved. And there are free graces who believe this, but I challenge you to find a scripture that demonstrates this, you know, when people pull out John 8, 24 and stuff, but it doesn't, it's not what he's talking about, whatever. This is what they have always believed for salvation. First John 5, 20. And we know that the son of God is come and has given us an understanding that we may know him that is true. And we are in him that is true, even in his son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. So if you are not in the true God, then you don't have eternal life. Yeah, but I mean, John is talking to save people here, right? Now he's talking about something else. He's not talking about how to get saved. That was in, in his gospel of John. Here he's talking to save people about like fellowship and being in right relationship with God in your walk. Not, not in a right relationship with God to go to heaven. They are already in that relationship. But to have the right relationship with God in our walk as Christians, that's what he's talking about here. That's called um, fellowship. Oh, sorry. Hercules is not the true God. The Archangel Michael is not the true God. So, yeah, of course, I don't tell people to believe in those things. I guess what he was saying is that if somebody, I don't know what he was saying. I can't remember. He was, like I say, he's trying to ask me questions to trap me and get me stuck. And then he could just turn around and play this on, online. But he doesn't play the whole thing because they know. If you play the whole thing, they, you'll know that I wasn't saying that. Anyway. So if anybody is still standing with the heretic that preaches this damnable doctrine, you know where their heart lies. And it's not in the truth. The scripture tells us that we as the body of Christ will be slandered. We will be mocked at. We will be. So many Christians do believe that you have to believe Jesus is God. But the emphasis in scripture that is that Jesus is the son of God. Exactly, Nicholas. I agree. It does, it does sound like he's saying you need to believe Jesus is God. Yeah, it does sound like he's saying that, that you need to believe Jesus is God. There's a scripture in John 5 and John 6 saying you need to believe in both the father who sent Jesus and Jesus whom the father sent. Yeah, exactly. So somebody has to now believe that Jesus is God and there's a God in heaven and, there, and somehow they have to figure that out. There's not two gods. There's Jesus is God and the Father in heaven is God. They're both God. Jack Slack deleted my comment on his video because I said he cut the clip where he back. Yeah, I know. Those guys are, those guys are sens they're sensorious, you know? Um, I was a little confused by and shall believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead that shall be saved. So that's not a necessary part of the belief. No, I don't think it is because we'll talk about Romans 10. I have a, I have a video on Romans 10. It's quite long though, but we'll talk about it later. I'll talk about it, Rob, okay? ABS just snips and cuts voice footage to manipulate the narrative. Why doesn't ABS post a full call and not just exactly? exactly. He scoffed out. We'll be accused falsely. You see the goats, the tares, the wolves. They do not recognize us. They do not exactly, receive us. Our... Exactly, YouTube Watcher 69. Exactly, exactly. Thank you. Our testimony. They are satanic. They hate the true brethren. But we should rejoice, for great is our... They hate the true brethren. Did I ever express hatred towards these people? I mean, I guess I get angry sometimes, and I guess that can be seen as hate hateful commentary and stuff, but... And sometimes I do call them names and stuff. So maybe I am being an idiot, but that's just me being an idiot. It's not because I have like a bad doctrine. It's so dumb. Amen, Matthew C. 
is our reward in heaven. They will seek us out and try to devour us. They will sow discord amongst the brethren. They will try to cause the brethren to not like us by coming in amongst us, trying to be regarded as us, even though they are not of us. And I'm going to be very clear here. Even though they're not of us. So that's that, that's that first John 2, 19 he's bringing up. So that's the one where they, you know, they were of us, but they went out so that if they, if they, they went out, so that shows that they were never of us. Yeah. But that's just talking about, they were never of us, us being John and the letter writers, John and the apostles. Like, you know, that's what he means by they went out from us, not from the church. They went out from us showing that they're not of us, the apostles. They're not like true leaders of the Christian church. They're false uh brethren or false apostles anyway they might be brethren though i think they those antichrists are saved people you know? it's just that they got into a bad doctrine and then and then they had to split off then there was like this schism it seems like from first john that there was a schism in the church and the people who left and divided they're they're the ones paul is referring to them as the antichrist not the whole church of them but their leaders and so and Paul, that's why he keeps talking about love the brethren, love the brethren. Like, don't hate those people who just left the church, left the, um, who schism, schismed out of the church. Schism is like when the church splits, right? So he's saying, don't, don't hate them. Love the brethren. You know? I'm not specifically talking about Mike. I'm talking about anybody who is trying to sow discord behind the scenes. There are people far worse than Mike. He goes too deep into theological perspectives and he ends up creating heresies and his day deep into theological. Well, the thing is, I go deep because the Bible is deep ABS, but you guys go surface because you don't understand the Bible. You just have this surface understanding. You just found out about free grace like a few months ago, or it was in, I guess it was in the fall. I think, uh, what's his name? Fuego was saying, you know, dangerous not only for the body of christ who are mature but especially for babes there are literally satanists amongst the brethren turning people against one another dming people entering discord servers and trying to persuade people that certain people are false because they look i don't dm people and go into discord servers i don't do anything like that i don't know who he's talking about here i really don't know i'm sure there are people out there doing this type of thing but i'm not one of those people Wow, you guys like Yeshua and Quadrosaurus Rex, bro. You guys have serious, uh, crazy histories, man. But even Fuego, his, he said his grandfather is a 33rd degree Mason, eh? Because they don't like them. And they are a very dangerous, wicked, evil problem who serve their own bellies and not the most high Yahuwah. Now, moving on to the warnings against false Christ. A you amen, see amen, Quadrosaurus, amen. Jesus Christ warns us about the deception of false Christs to come. <laughs> what is this weird Their stuff? Like, this and not the most high some weird stuff. Now moving on to the warnings against false Christ. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, bro. What is this thing? What is this? He got is is this some kind of like stock footage thing that he just got? What kind of weird thing is this, bro? What is this? This is this is like you see, Jesus Christ warns us about the deception of false Christs to come and the false Christs who would be preached about. Believing in a false Christ means falling into deception and not achieving salvation if that is who you have always believed in. No, no, that's not, uh, that's not what it means. There shall arise, arise false Christs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much if that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very light. It's not talking about people getting deceived and not being saved. This, this is Matthew 24. He's talking about the end of the world and stuff. And also he's talking about 70 AD. So there's a few things happening here. And this, this is a very complicated passage of scripture, but he's talking to his disciples. He's not saying to them that if, if oh, there's going to be a false Christ and deceive people to believe and they won't be saved. He's saying that um, people who are saved, some of them even will be deceived. But the elect, I don't think the elect is all saved people. I think the elect is his, the ones that, that in, 20, in, 24, in Matthew 24, 13, it talks about how 
only those that who endure until the end will be saved. That is saved from death in the tribulation. So when he talks about the elect, I think that's what he's talking about. Those people who get saved, saved from death in the tribulation because they were faithful. Because it's not the true Christ. In Matthew 24, 24, we are warned, for there shall arise false Christs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Those are the words of Christ himself. Beware of false prophets. Okay, family? Trust in the Most High Yahweh. He does not lie. Beware of false prophets, family. Now, what if AVS is the false prophet? I don't know. Uh, he, is, he just claims to be a prophet. He literally claims to have prophetic visions and dreams and, to, and that God speaks to him. So who is the false prophet here, AV? I mean, AVS. Is it me or is it you? You're literally claiming that God speaks to you and that he and that he gives you messages, right? In your head. That's what prophets do. Now, the test for a, a prophet in the Bible is if you can predict the future accurately. So can you do that? If not, you're a false prophet. That's you. You are the false prophet. Okay. I never claim to have any messages from God in my head. That's you guys. You and Fuego have done that. I've never done that. So you are the false prophet, not me. Now, we're also told about the nature of eternal life in the scripture. Eternal life is known. Yeah, I know. This is weird. Only like, true this God. is weird how they, how they say Catholics are going to hell. They know the Catholics are, are, are unsaved, right? Or Catholicism is not a saving message. But they promote Catholicism stuff. You know, even, the, even his t shirts are like Catholicism stuff. Like the way they depict Michael and stuff, it's like as if the Catholics do it. Yeah, yeah, he had two prophetic dreams, two prophetic dreams about the Antichrist, uh, uh, Mr. AVS. <laughs> He's trying to say, I'm a false prophet. Did I ever claim to be a prophet? Did I ever claim that God's told me stuff in my head? No. All I say is that, look, I study the Bible. So here's the Bible. I'm going to show you stuff in the Bible. This is why I believe what I believe. And this is why, because of this Bible scripture. I, that's what I do, man. Unlike this guy. He's just like showing you scriptures from all over. It's just like these guys are it's just nonsense. Man. And Jesus Christ, whom he has sent. Believing in a false version of Jesus means not knowing the true God and Jesus, thus not having eternal life. If that is see, even this one, even this one, right? What are you saying here? <laughs> He's talking to the disciples again, it's talking to the disciples, the 11. They're already saved, all right? What he's talking about here in this verse is life eternal in this life, like this kind of, uh, it's, a, it's an understanding of the eternal life or an experience of the eternal life that we can have in this life through fellowship with God. That's what he's talking about here. He's not saying that, he's not even talking about positional eternal life, like, like going to heaven, eternal life. Yeah, but he is in the previous verse. So let me just show you that for the Bible first before we move on. I don't want to confuse anybody. Um, okay. So these words speak Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, so this again, once again, this is after the Last Supper. Okay, that was in John uh, 13. And then 14, 15, and 16, he's giving this speech to the 11 disciples. Judas has left to go betray him. They had the Last Supper, then Judas left to go betray him. Then he's talking to the 11. And he talks to them about how they should live as disciples. They should abide in him. And he's going to send the Spirit to them to teach, to lead them into all truth. The Spirit is leading the 11 disciples into all truth so that they can write the new testament and uh be these amazing leaders of the church it's not saying that all christians are going to be led by the holy spirit to all truth but that's what abs and them teach because they don't know because they're basically charismatics you know and they're and they're just they have bad doctrine they don't know what they're talking about but anyway these words speak jesus lifted up his eyes to heaven and said Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee. 
as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. So this part is positional or talking about going to heaven. He has given eternal life to all them that, that God has given to him. That like he because God has to draw you, then you can believe in Jesus, then you can go to heaven. And then he talks about this, and this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Now, this part is about our walk. Okay, to that so he's giving them eternal life. He's giving them eternal life. So that they may know him, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. How do they know him? How do they know him? How do they know him, right? Well, know him is like this. This is the same speech, okay? In this speech, he says this. He says this. First, if you love me, he's talking to his 11 disciples, right? If you love me, keep my commandments, Okay? And I will pray the Father, he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth in you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. But a little, yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. And that day ye shall know that I am, in my, I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments, and keepeth them, Keep the commandments. He it is that loveth me. See, remember he was saying in, in, in 14, 15, he was like, he that, he that um, if you love me, keep my commandments. He that hath my commandments, keepeth them, and he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me, that is the one that keeps his commandments, shall be loved of my father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Manifest means you make yourself apparent. You, you make yourself known. So that's how they can know the only true God in, in John 17, 3. They know him by keeping the commandments. Okay? And then Judas, uh, not Iscariot, said, How is it that you'll mass manifest unto us and not unto the world? And then Jesus says, No, if a man loves me, he will keep my words. And my father will love him, and, he, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. So this is not about salvation. This is about keeping his words, keeping his commandments. The same thing he was talking about here. 1423 and 1421 are the same thing. So this is what he, this is what he means when he says to know the only true God in seven in John 17 3. That's what he's talking about. The one who is saved already and then keeps the commandments, then then the Father will love him and then Jesus and the Father will make their abode with him. And that's how that's what he means by that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. That's what there's that's what he's talking about there. I hope that wasn't uh confusing or anything. I didn't see I didn't see uh, all the comments, so I'll get to that, but I'm not too good at this streaming thing, guys. Man. Okay. Anyway, let's see this one. Is the state you have always been in. In John 17, 3, we are told, and this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. So if the Father sent Jesus Christ, the Son, the Word who became flesh, then that is who we must believe in. The Father did not send Hercules. He did not send the Archangel Michael. And these wicked heretics, they do exactly what atheists do. They create these wicked hypothetical situations. Like what if somebody never heard the gospel? What if somebody, you know, was in the Amazon rainforest? It's the same arguments the atheists. Well, look, like, I, may, I, yeah, I guess atheists bring that up. Like what if somebody never heard the true gospel? Well, yeah, it's, it's a worthwhile question for us to consider. Christians and atheists are going to consider this. Atheists are going to ask you about this. What are you going to say? What if somebody never heard the gospel? Well, thanks, YouTube Watcher 69, by the way. But yeah, what if somebody never heard the gospel? What if somebody was in was born in China, right? In the year that Jesus died. Would they hear the gospel that Jesus was born and 
rose again on the third day and died and rose again on the third day. Would they would they know that? No, they wouldn't. They would die never hearing that story. So how does that person get saved? How does that person get saved? Thanks, Hans. Um, I think what happens is, is similar to okay, so let's talk about that a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if you guys if you guys think I'm being too like um pedantic and going to the Bible too much or whatever to explain these things, let me know. If you want to just go through the video, let me know. But I think it's worthwhile to look at this. So first of all, we know that look at look at what Jesus says in Matthew 8. This is after the centurion comes to him and, and he's telling and, and Jesus realizes that the centurion, the Roman centurion, a Gentile, has great faith, he says. Great faith. I have no I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. You see? Now the disciples in this in this book of Matthew are often characterized as having little faith. For example, when Peter is on the water. And like when Jesus is walking on the water and then Peter's like, uh, Lord, you know, if you call to me, I'll come out to you. And he starts walking on the water and then he starts sinking down because he because he saw the water is like, like getting rough. Right. So then he starts sinking down. And Jesus pulls him out and he says, oh, ye of little faith. Why? Why for didst thou doubt or wherefore didst thou doubt? So the disciples are characterized as having little faith, the disciples, which are Jews who are saved. Are described as having little faith and this person the centurion who's a roman the centurion he's a roman centurion okay and jesus says i have not found so great no not in israel and he says to them then this and i say unto you that many shall come from the east and the west and shall sit down with abraham isaac and jacob in the kingdom of heaven okay but the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. They shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Now, some people think that's hell. I don't think it is. Because children of the kingdom is a phrase we only see twice in the whole Bible. And the other time we see it is in Matthew. And it's referring to people that are certainly going to heaven. So... See, when he, when he talks about, this is the other time you see this phrase, children of the kingdom, okay? Again, the kingdom of heaven is like into a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind. This is like Matthew 13, Jesus just gives a bunch of parables to them, okay? When it was, which when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from the just. I shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Oh, sorry, because I didn't see the. So, wait, 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 sorry. Oh, sorry, it's not this one. It's the one about the the tears. Sorry, I'm so dumb. Sorry, guys. Uh, the good seed, the field is the world. So he's, he's, he's answering about the parable that he just told them, right? He just saw the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom, but the tares are the children of the wicked one. So the good seed, the children of the kingdom are the good seed. The enemy, the enemy that sowed the tares as the devil, the harvest is the end of the world, the reapers are the angels. As therefore the tares are gathered, gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of the world. So the people who are cast into the fire are the tares. Okay. Well, we can read the, the parable too, I guess. Um, so the parable is this. There, uh, the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. When the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. 
So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, is thou not is thou not so good seed in thy field? From whence then hath the tares? He said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while we gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest, and in the time of harvest I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. So the, the wheat is the good seed. That's the children of the kingdom. And then... The good seed are the children of the kingdom. That's the wheat. The tares are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. So all I'm saying is the children of the kingdom in Matthew 8 are not um, unsaved people. Okay? But what he is saying is that there's going to be people from the east and the west that shall come, come and sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. So Jews think Jews think maybe maybe some Jews think that they have some kind of special place in heaven or something, but Jesus is saying here that no, they do not. Let's see, Jack Smack's here. Let's go. Hey Jack Smack, you want to come on, bro? There's nothing to respond to. You're a stupid heretic who teaches damnable filth, and now you're amply exposed. You stupid retarded bastard. Uh okay, Jack Smack. Like Jack Smack, I, I'm inviting you on here. Okay, and I know I've said some things that were mean to you about you or whatever. You said some mean things about me. It's okay. I don't hate you. I think you're a brother. I love you. If you want to come on here, we can talk about it. If you want to just call me a retarded bastard, it's not really helpful. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to switch over to the other thing again. <laughs> to try to get around the condemnation of the unbelieving. The same arguments are now enforced in theological circles who are heretics to try to create situations that they think actually affirms their position, but it doesn't because the word of God is true and every man a liar. So we should believe the word. Yahweh is the judge. So his word is true and his word is final. That is why there are certain movements also about nowadays trying to tear down the word of God trying to claim that the book of James is not inspired and the book of Psalms is apparently not inspired. These people are... Now, I don't know why he's talking about those guys. So David Benjamin and them say that. Obviously, I don't say that, but I guess he's just trying to associate me like so guilt by association or something. Associate me and his listeners' mind with David Benjamin. Trying to tear down the word of God so they can exalt themselves and their own theological positions and get cult members to follow them. Stay away from these people. Mark and avoid them. I speak the truth, and if people hate me for speaking the truth, well, I know they hated my Savior first, the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, so people always try to do this. Like, if people hate you, oh, well, they hated Jesus, so then you're just doing what Jesus said. Well, no, like, I don't hate you, man. As I've said numerous times, I've actually said that I like you, and I think you're a brother, so therefore I love you. But I'm just saying you're uh, teaching wrongly and you're probably unstable and endangering yourself. And he told me that this would take place. So glory to the King of Kings. You see, throughout the scripture, we are given a consistent message of salvation. Salvation is found in no one else but Jesus Christ. The specificity of no other name. Of course, I know that. And of course, I teach that. Right. So any attempt to try to say that I don't teach this is absurd. And like I say, you can see what I teach about what about how a person what a person needs to believe to be saved. It's the first video when you go on my thing or just look up on my on my thing. Um, what must I do to be saved? I have two videos on it. You can see that it's a it's the um, you can believe that Jesus is the Christ, the son of God, and he gives eternal life to whoever believes in him. You can't just believe in anybody. I never said that. And the only way he can he can try to claim that I said that is by taking me out of context, cutting up our call. If you want to make if you want to say this about me, man, then play the whole call. Includes any false Christ, meaning it must be the true Christ who you believe in to be saved. In Acts 4.12, we are told neither is there salvation 
in any other, in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Yet these heretics come along and they don't understand what these passages are speaking about. Uh, I never said I never said anyone could be saved by believing in anyone other than Jesus Christ. Okay? I never suggested that and I never will. The name is not talking about an incantation of pronunciation. It is talking about the being who gives salvation. You must believe. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's that person, the person, Jesus Christ of the New Testament. If you believe he is the Christ, you're born. Of, you're born of God. So getting other things wrong about him, such as the notion that he is like also Michael the Archangel or the idea that whatever other things that are about him that you might get wrong, that doesn't matter. As long as you understand that he is the son of God, the Christ, and he gives eternal life to whoever believes in him. The son of God, the son of the God of the whole universe, the God of the Bible. Believe upon him. The theological consistencies that we can see throughout the scripture which is beautiful and perfect, preserved and holy. Paul condemns any deviation from the gospel that he preached. Belief in a false Christ is a different gospel, which is a curse. And that is what these people are preaching. Another gospel. An mm, preaching another gospel. Well, that's not true either. I mean, I mean, what Paul says that about another gospel, he's talking about workspace. Okay? He's not talking about just whatever. People try to like turn that into all this kind of other stuff, but he's just talking about workspace. He's saying, don't teach workspace. That's what that letter is about, Galatians. Um, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Exactly, Quadrasar. This is so true because they're always the ones saying it's Yahuwah, it's Yahuwah, it's Yeshua HaMashiach, you know? Like, dude, just chill, bro. Just chill with your Yeshua HaMashiach. Another Christ. So let them be a curse. In Galatians 1, 6 to 8, we are told, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace. Yeah, that's true. I mean, what, what he's saying is true because like, they're, they're just like, they're the, they're the, uh, second John verse 10 people, you know, that's what they're, that's what they are. You don't, you don't like, I mean, you don't be unkind to them. Don't treat them like animals or anything. They're still brethren and love them. Right. But don't invite them into your house. And don't wish them Godspeed. Because if you wish them Godspeed, you're partaker in their evil deeds. Grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another. But there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. So believe. You guys like to use, people like to use this to, to like, force people to agree with them in, in Christian circles, but they, they just, most people don't understand this passage at all. And they just try to sweep anything that anyone that disagrees with them, they try to put them under this passage. But no, this passage is about workspace heretics and workspace heretics are, that's what he's talking about. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. It must be the true Christ, the word who became flesh, the son of God, who takes away the sin of the world, who died his blood was shed, he was buried, and he rose on the third day. For well, you are saved by... So they have to believe that he was buried? They have to believe that part? But some people don't say that part. Some people say, no, the, the burial part, that's not really necessary. You don't have to believe that. But he's saying that you do, I guess. Anyway, they're just, they're just whatever, man. They're just trying to like... like first of all, they don't understand the scripture themselves. And then they try to say that I'm teaching it wrongly but they don't even understand it themselves by grace through faith in the lord jesus christ not of yourselves not of works it is the gift of god so that nobody can boast and once you are in his hand you are sealed by the holy spirit unto the day of redemption you cannot be snatched from his hand you are secure eternally this is our guarantee so in necessity i'm calling out to everybody who is following false teachers Everybody who is slandering us, the true brethren, and telling you. Mm -hmm. Slandering. How did I slander you? Can you tell? Can you prove that I slandered you? Because I proved that you slandered me. I've proven it multiple times. Um, so please prove that I slandered you, or you're just slandering me by saying that. Because you're just throwing out accusations. You're never proving anything you're saying. All you guys keep doing is throwing accusations. You're not proving it.
even this thing you're trying to say, I prove I teach some false thing where they can believe in a false Jesus. Well, you're not even playing the whole conversation. What a joke. To repent, turn away from them, come out of the world, rest in Christ. You are not condemned in Christ. You are loved. You are saved. You are secure. But the enemy tries to get you to walk in. This is true. But I mean, I think what's happening is that these people are in their flesh, man, Nicholas. So that's why they're acting like this. I don't think they're witches and warlocks, but they're manifesting like it. Or maybe they are. I don't really know. This guy, this guy, ABS is, is weird, man. In your flesh, in heresies. You don't want to be in heresies. I forgive everybody who's spoken against me. And I mean that. In my yeah, I mean, you know what's funny? How You know what's funny, Yeshua Salvation? They never, they, they play this clip of me, right? But they won't play the whole live. Because they know they were acting like monkeys, like animals. And they know it's embarrassing to them. They're much worse. If we if we had that whole live and I could play it for you, you can see their attitude is much worse than mine, even though I did. And I do apologize to you guys and to God and everyone else for my behavior on that stream. But their behavior is more embarrassing and more uh, wrong teaching. In my heart, I truly love you. I really do. Even if you're in theological positions that I disagree with, I still love you if you're in the body of Christ. And I pray the Most High Yahweh guides you into the fullness of the truth. For the Ruach HaKodesh, the spirit of truth, leads us into all truth. Some people despise our youth because they do not comprehend the wisdom that is in us, which is yeah, Christ. Yeah, he, he used to be an occultist, right? That's the thing. So now that's the thing, man. So these guys used to be used to be into the occult, him and Fuego. They both admit it. They used to read up on it. That's why Fuego was talking about like Atlantis and stuff. Now there's two ways that that, that, that could go. If you if you're into the occult and then you become a Christian, right? There's two ways that could go. One is that is that you're not a real Christian, you're just faking it, you're a shell. One is that the other one is that you think you're you think you, I mean you get saved maybe or whatever, but you're still have that thought in your mind like that the occult is like the occult is on to something or they they figured some stuff out or whatever and then what the, what happens is they start to think like like the way fuego said that that atlantis is real right it's because he still believes he believes the occult is like that they know something that we don't or that they have secret knowledge so they promote that stuff and AVS, he may be he may be that kind of person too, where he thinks where he thinks some of the occult stuff is true and he, he kind of still believes it and you'll see it manifesting in the way they are. For example, Fuego made that song 33rd degree, 33 degrees. He claims he's not a shell. I think that's very shell, shelly behavior, but even if he isn't, it's because he's manifesting like an occultist anyway, even though he's no longer into it, even though he thinks like, oh. Oh, I'm taking back the occult stuff from them and, and turning it back to Christ. No, you're not, man. You're just you're promoting it. You're promoting occult Christ himself. So in conclusion, it's extremely necessary that you believe in the true Christ for Thanks. salvation. Thanks, White. Understand Thanks, YouTube, that there are 69. I appreciate that. Yeah, but you can't let them lower yourself. You can't let them lower yourself to their level. That's what they are looking for. So they have a clip for next day. Yeah, exactly. Certain dangers and certain false doctrines. They claim belief in yeah, other entities. Says, I mean, he says they, he was reading up on it. He says he read a bunch of their stuff or something like that. Uh, he was saying it in, in his in his um, I think he was saying it in his in his testimony, or maybe he said it to me personally. But yeah, I know he did read a lot about it. That's why he knows all about those like conspiracy theory stuff. And his dad and his grandfather was a 33rd degree mason. A damnable but, heresy. But that, all this stuff he said on streams, and now he took down all his streams. Because he knows, he said a lot of stuff in those streams that's wicked. If you're already saved, you don't want to be in heresies. And for the unsaved, it's a stumbling block to prevent them from coming to Christ. Because you can't be saved by another Christ. And if that's who's being preached, y'all rebuke that. I encourage every one of you to study the scripture for you. Y'all rebuke that. Y'all yeah. rebuke it. Like, get out of here, man. Why you just... His name is God, okay? Or you just call him God, man. Or the Lord, or something. You know? Yourself. Don't seek out teachers online, but find yourself a grounded physical church where you can fellowship, and you will see it's very different from the online communities. Yeah, like I try yeah, to keep I, my I channel. Agree. I agree. Like, um, soldier for Christ. Like, I, I too kind of realized about Jesus because of conspiracy theories. You know, because you start to see that conspiracy theories show that 
a lot of the stuff we're we're getting told by by like you know the intellectual class or whatever that it's wrong right so then you start to realize things and you realize about the bible and stuff not his father fago's grandfather or something like that that's what he said on a stream maybe he's gonna try to deny it now but he said it on a stream i remember he was he was on a stream with secret doctrine and he said that i used to be into kabbalah see see thank thank the lord that you got out of that brother uh that was funny uh quadrosaurus rex is a pretty funny guy you and me understanding everything the bible said was true yeah exactly when you when you when you understand that the occultists are actually using the bible for their magic like then you realize like, wait a minute wait a wait 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 the people who rule the world worship the devil and they use the bible for their magic well okay that probably means the bible's true probably like, let's let's just think about this a little bit guys kind of as biblical as possible whilst reaching as wide an audience as possible to bring people into the knowledge of the truth so they may hear the gospel of salvation and get saved. Some people despise tactics of wisdom because they are not as wise as serpents and as gentle. So now he's trying to say that he's as wise as serpents and gentle as does. Why? Because he's, he studied the occult or something? What to bring saying? people into the knowledge of the But well, find yourself a good another Christ. And if that's who's being preached, y'all rebuke that. I encourage every one of you to study the scripture for yourself. Don't seek out teachers online, but find yourself a grounded physical church where you can fellowship and you will see it's very different from the online communities. I tried to. Well, it's hard to find a church. If you're free grace, I mean, it's hard to find a church that's free grace. And I won't just tell you to just go to any church. I don't, I, I don't know a church is not free grace, but I'm well versed in the, in the doctrines so I can. I, I'm not I'm not scared of I'm not like there's no threat of me being taught some wrong doctrine against free grace. Yeah. But but for most people, I don't know if you'll be able to you might get some wrong teachings. But if you're careful, I think it's better it's, it can be good to go to a church even if they are like they have wrong salvational views. But like I say, I'm the I'm very grounded in the word. That's why I feel like I, I I'm able to do it. I wouldn't recommend just anybody just join a church. If it's not free grace, I mean, be careful. I'm not saying don't, I'm not saying never do it. Maybe, maybe you think you can handle it. Okay. Pray about it, you know. But I wouldn't say just join any church because you got to be careful, man. Because like I joined, I joined this, this Calvinist church when I was in the seminary. Because my friend from the seminary was, was, was a Calvinist. And he invited me to his church. And I joined them for like two years. I was with them. It was mostly online. But they, but I knew Calvinism was wrong, but I didn't know how bad it was, and so I, I would like dismiss the Calvinist stuff when they talk about it. They don't talk about it that much, but they talk about other stuff. And the thing is, you're not realizing they're teaching you wrong stuff, but you don't realize, you know. But now, I, now I learned a lot of that stuff, but I had to unlearn stuff that they taught me, you know. Majority of churches are compromised. Some churches are deceived too. Yeah, for sure. I mean, most churches. I would say most churches are deceived. They're not free grace. I bet there's probably only a handful of churches out there that are good in this world. Probably not. But you know what? No church is perfect, eh? So just because you go to a church and, and they've got some wrong teachings doesn't mean that they're just God's going to throw them out or that you should. It may be that God wants you there to help them. You know, like I, I my church is lordship. They're lord. They're lordshippers. Literal lordshippers right but people but by being there i've helped some people to come to believe the free in free grace so that's a good thing right I had to keep my channel as biblical as possible whilst reaching as wide an yeah, audience as, as biblical possible. as possible dude as biblical as possible look is his bible is his is his channel biblical go on his channel we're gonna go on his channel after this it's just a bunch of like weird stuff like clickbaity weird stuff bro it's not biblical man there's some foolishness to bring people into the knowledge of the truth so they may hear the gospel of salvation and get saved. Some people despise tactics of wisdom because they are not as wise as serpents and as gentle as doves, as our Savior told us to be. They are jealous of many things because they walk in the flesh and not in the spirit. I love you so much, family. I pray the Most High Yahweh shines his face upon you always and gives you peace. So I don't even know what he was saying there. What was he talking about? Whilst reaching as wide an audience as possible, I try don't seek out teachers online. But find yourself a grounded physical church where you can fellowship and you will see it's very different from the online communities. 
I tried to keep my channel as biblical as possible whilst reaching as well. One thing, one thing you'll find in churches, most churches, is that, I mean, I like, like go to my Discord. We have deep, deep discussions about the t scripture. And even in, even on, on this channel, we go deep, right? But most of the, most of the um, churches, I don't find they go that deep because most people don't care that much. Reading the Bible and being led by the Spirit. Okay. Okay, this is this is uh this is an interesting point. Now, I would say reading the Bible is very good. Being led by the spirit is something that we should do. Okay, but that's like walking in the spirit, that's something we do. But one thing that can help you with this is having fellowship with the brethren, right? Now, it may not be in a church, unfortunately. It, it would be good, it would be ideal if it, if you were in a church group where you could worship together sing songs together, maybe take the Eucharist or whatever, things like that. That would be good. It's the ideal, but it's not necessarily the only thing that could, um, that can help you to have a good walk with the Lord, you know? And Soldier for Christ is true. But attending churches is also very good and important if you have a church where you can glorify God. Now, Sometimes the churches just are not available. So I'm not going to recommend that everybody go out and find a church. My assembly is lordship, but I'm on my way out. And the church is changing generations and falling apart. So glad to be getting out of there. Yeah, I mean, the, the lordship thing, sometimes it can really weigh on, weigh on my heart, too. Because they'll have some lordship message up there. And then I'll just be, like, getting mad. One time they had this, they had this guy go up there. And he's seeing a message. It wasn't really lordship. It was kind of OSAS in a way, but somebody, but they don't teach it OSAS properly or teach free grace or anything, right? So a lot of people, they don't have that feeling of, most people in my church, they don't have that feeling of security. So when this guy started talking something, one of the ladies started freaking out and had a crazy meltdown because she thought she was going to hell, you know? And that's the thing. That's why you need to be, people in a church need to have that assurance of eternal security that's important so they can, and, and you just need it for your Christian walk. You need it. You need to know that you're you're saved. You're going to heaven. That's the only way you can grow in in the in the faith in the faith of uh, in the in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The TBS Discord is the right church. Thanks, thanks, man. It's not a church, but there's some there's fellowship there for sure. If I look at my ch a church simply as a place where people gather in the name of Jesus Christ. It's probably a better way to look at it for me. I'll try that. It doesn't mean they got it together. Yeah, that's true. The thing is, like, if you go to a place and, and they're gathering in the name of Jesus Christ, then Christ will be there, right? Wherever two or three are gathered in his name. And some people try to say that that's only about, like, like legal things because it's, like, talking about that, like the witnesses and stuff, the two or three witnesses. But that's not what it is. He's saying that wherever two or three are gathered in his name, he's there. He is there. He's also there for the judicial stuff, but he's there wherever two or three are gathered in his name. He is there. And of course, Jesus is everywhere, right? Like he's God, so he's everywhere, right? But he's also in a special way. He's there wherever two or three are gathered in his name. They need to be grounded. Yes, the church needs to be grounded. That's uh, not sure what you're referring to there. I had the same thought. There's like no free grace churches near me at all. Yeah, me, me neither, bro. Anyway. Wide an audience as possible to bring people into the knowledge of the Why, truth. He, and you will see it's very different from the online communities. I tried to keep my channel as biblical as possible whilst reaching as wide an audience as possible okay. to bring people so now into he's the knowledge to, he's of the trying truth. to justify his, uh, his clickbaity practices and his manipulative um, YouTube algorithm climbing, you know? So he's trying to say that, oh, I try to keep it as biblical as possible while reaching as wide an audience as possible. So... My 150,000 subscribers or whatever it is. So I'm constantly begging for money and stuff. It's time to buy my crappy merch. That's like, that's just so I can reach the widest audience possible so I can get the message of Christ out to them, guys. But then, you know, just a few months ago, I wasn't even free grace. So they may try to pretend that I that I was. And then when I pointed out his, his heresies, he just attacked me. the gospel of salvation and get saved some people despise tactics of wisdom because they are not as wise as serpents and as gentle as doves as our savior told us to be they are jealous of many things because they walk in the flesh and not in
So why is it serpents gentle as doves? I mean, I like to think I am. Maybe not gentle as does. That's my that's my weak part. <laughs> I like to think I'm wise as serpents. I like to think I'm wise as serpents. Serpents like this guy, and Fuego, and maybe not quite as wise because they did trick me into like going on their stream and acting like a retard, right? But the thing is, I I understand. Like I feel like I'm I'm not the one to get pulled into this the the false teachings of the devil that are going out anyway. in the spirit. I love you so much, family. I pray the Most High Yahweh shines his face upon you always and gives you peace. So let it be known, this man is marked and avoided by the body of Christ. Hmm. May the Most High Yahweh guide him out of his heresies. May he repent. He's marked and avoided by the body of Christ. His face upon you always and gives you peace. So let it be known, this man is marked and avoided by the body of Christ. May the Most High Yahweh guide him out of his heresies. May he repent. Marked and avoided by the body of Christ. That's you guys, man. So you guys, you should... I hope you're marked and avoided. Otherwise, AV is wrong. He's and anybody in his community, you're welcome here. But do not come here to sow discord. Do not come here for drama. What Ten substances are you on? I, I smoke weed sometimes. I guess that's a drug. And I also, I was smoking cigarettes. I recently quit. And I sometimes drink, you know? So I take drugs in that sense. Bro. Shut up, idiot. <laughs> this is now it's just them playing this clip. It's you're a sheep, bro. You're you're, 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 you're a heretic. <laughs> Wait, it's so embarrassing. This this clip will never will never die now. It's gonna haunt me until the day I die. This clip. You're a goof, bro. <laughs> it's just gonna like it's just forever gonna be in my life. You are a little bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You are a little bitch. Do not come here with your toxic behavior. My channel is purely for the body of Christ, for those who want to walk in the spirit, in love. Peace, joy, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But if you're more, he doesn't have any of those things. He doesn't have love, joy, peace, wisdom, knowledge, or understanding. He doesn't have any of those things. Hilarious. Suited to somebody who walks in the flesh, then feel free to stay there, because we don't want fleshly behavior around us. I've reached out to these sowers of discord many times, these operators of strife, and they don't want peace. They want to do what they want to do. So now it's come to this. Anybody who tries to come against us, the true body. This is the thing. This is the thing, AVS. If you if you really feel like you need to release this information to protect the body of Christ from my false teachings, why did you wait like seven months or however many months it was? <laughs> like, why don't you just release it? Like, it's like, okay, oh, Mike's teaching heresy. Okay, get it out. Find out. Let the people know. Like, why don't you just tell everybody immediately, dude? Why why are you waiting so long? Because he wants. Because he knows. He knows, man. He knows it's not true. Okay, 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 okay. I'm studying the Bible in Toronto. 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 Studying the Bible with Mike Sam Pat. These other YouTubers are just so trash. Hit the thumbs up if you wanna support. Go follow Mike as he follows the Lord. I'm studying the Bible in Toronto. 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 You better watch out, Mike's calling out the shields. If you're not free grace, you need to sit down and chill. We're not hyper grace, you know we keep it real. Eternally secure, you know that we're sealed. We don't back low, we're not workspace heretics. Mike's not in it for the money, trying to get a lick. They out here selling their souls for a couple clicks. Coming Freemasons so they can just get rich. I'm studying the Bible in Toronto. 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 Shout out to Mike Sam Pat. Check out his channel, Toronto Bible Study. Subscribe and like.